Since I've switched to shooting 4K video, I've needed more and more disk space for editing, especially for weddings where I have up to four 4K cameras rolling at the same time. To get the best editing performance, I convert my files to ProRes, which in result make them much larger. Looking for a 2TB portable SSD, I found two options, the SanDisk Extreme 900 and the Samsung T3. Here's how they compare. Starting off with size, immediately you notice how much smaller the Samsung drive is. It's about a quarter of the size and also six times lighter. The SanDisk drive feels much more solid with a rubber portion around the outside which is designed to absorb up to 800 Gs of shock and withstand temps from negative 20 to positive 70 Celsius. The Samsung is also labeled as shock resistant but I place my bets on the SanDisk. Another benefit of the larger size is heat dissipation. The Samsung drive gets hot really fast where the SanDisk stays cool even after prolonged use. Both drives use a USB Type-C port and include a USB-C to USB Type-A cable. The SanDisk also includes a USB-C to C cable which is handy for devices that don't have a standard USB port. The Samsung T3 capacity is slightly larger since the SanDisk uses a pair of 960GB SSDs, but once formatted there is only about 70GB of difference. Moving on to speed, the drives are very close in speed when plugged into a USB 3 port, both running at about 450MB per second. Where the SanDisk drive really shines is when plugged into a USB 3.1 port. Depending on your USB 3.1 controller, you should get speeds of up to 850 megabytes per second. We got just under 800 megabytes per second with our Windows machine. So with all this info, which one should you choose? Personally, we chose two of the SanDisk Extreme 900s even though our Hackintoshes don't yet support the full speed of the drives. I know we'll be using these for a few years so we'll end up getting the full speed. If size is most important for you, then you know which one you should get. At the time of this review, the SanDisk is just slightly less expensive, but prices change so make sure to check out both links in the video description before making your choice. If you buy through our links, it doesn't cost any extra but helps us make more videos like this one, so thank you. If you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button and be part of the notification squad. Also, follow me on social media to see what's behind the scenes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.